right guys, another day, another Mustang, but it's not a V8, it's an EcoBoost. We've been tuning these cars for a long time now and we've never really done much with the EcoBoost platform. We've always done the V8s, we've done twin turbos, we've done supercharged cars, we've done cars over a thousand horsepower, but we've never actually touched the EcoBoost Mustang. EcoBoost owners, this is your time. <laughs> so we've got this car on the dyno and we've been tuning it for the last day and a half developing the software on it. Um, it's a 2020 model car. It's got a Scorpion Sports Cat downpipe, a cold air intake, front mount intercooler. It's got some NGK seven spark plugs and it's got a 10R80 gearbox. So we've added a few extras to the software. So now we've got sport mode burbles. So you can have a nice burble in sport mode. <laughs> Um, we've got neutral rev limit disable. Stock software is limited to three and a half thousand RPM when in neutral or park, so that's been removed now. And we've got some cold start solutions, so people with extremely loud cars, we can actually disable your cold start so you're not annoying all your neighbours. <laughs> and on top of that, a whole lot more power. So we've basically maxed this setup out. Uh, when this car came in, it ran 266 wheel horsepower and 335, 340 foot pound of torque. I'm not sure that is a stock file. When this car came in, it had a Steeda SCT tune on it. It was supposedly put back to stock, but I'm not sure that it has been. I think it's partially stock, but it's still a little bit tuned because that torque's usually, it's usually lower than that. So we've finished off this tuning, we've maxed the turbo out, the turbo will not make any more boost. Turbos are only pretty small on these cars, and with this car having the sports car and a stock exhaust system, like, the turbo won't do any more. Power is now 320 wheel horsepower and 400 foot-pound of torque at the wheels, so we've actually gained 60 wheel horsepower and around 50 foot pound of torque at the wheels, which is massive gains. Obviously with this being the 10R80 car, we've tuned the gearbox um, and optimized the shift points. Because we've been able to make more power up the top end, we can raise the rev limit slightly and in turn we can basically shift the car later. And that's about it. So it's the gains are massive, like between 4,000 and 6,000 RPM where the eco boost starts to struggle because of the turbo, we've actually gained quite a lot of power in that area. So 320 wheel horsepower equates to somewhere around 385, 390 brake horsepower mark. This is tuned on 99 octane fuel. And I think to be fair, that'll feel good on the road. So car is all dialed in obviously we're going to be doing some more testing on the road to make sure the gearbox and everything else is happy but 320 wheel horsepower this is for you eco boost crew